When reinforcing school safety is just one step, Rhode Island leaders say there needs to be more action on gun control. 12 News reporter Sheila Lashudo continues our team coverage from the State House, where a rally for gun safety took place this afternoon. Sheena. Well, we saw dozens and dozens of people here today. A five year old little girl was up there with state leaders holding a sign that said ban assault weapons and no more school shootings. And that's really in line with the mission these lawmakers are trying to achieve. They are urging lawmakers to vote on a set of gun bills once and for all. And the governor himself has already said he would sign these proposed bills, including a ban on high capacity magazines and so called assault weapons. Authorities said the gunman was able to obtain the weapons legally. This was in the New York Times this weekend. Look at all the times that it's been stated that the gunman was able to obtain these weapons legally. We need to act now. We have things that we can do to change that, and we must act now. Thank you. And we also checked in with Second Amendment supporters today who tell us they don't think these bills are the answer. Instead, they think that the state could focus more on things like school safety. Now, the Second Amendment supporters are also holding their own rally here on Thursday. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Sheena Lushuto, 12 News.